Hello there, once again, I'm Peter Vaughan and here's another chapter of the name of the day. And the letter we're using here now is going to be E and for boy's name I'm going to put the name Eric there and for girls the letter E, Ellen. Now each letter that is a vowel in the alphabet, as I've mentioned at other times, is a soft letter. The vowels have got no capture in the mouth when they're coming out. No, it's just a, a changing of the shape of the mouth and the throat. They flow freely. A E I O U. So there's no or s squeezing or punching the letters out. So therefore, to the subconscious, the vowels have a softness to them. So with Eric and Alan at the beginning of a name, specifically, not so much the middle letters, but in here, the E and the E. And in this case with Eric, we've got the C at the end and an N at the end. So the beginning and end of a name are so important. It's like when you see somebody coming and then you see them going. The front looks different than the back as they're going away. Uh, it's like watching a vehicle come towards you. It's always different in the front than it is at the back. So, with the letter E at the front and Eric and with Alan here, the letter E represents a pile of history back here. Just history all loading up here. And from history they've learned this and this and they put these things on their shelves. These are like shelves. And boxes and circles and all sorts of stuff. Just things on their shelves. So with it being the value 5, 9, 9 and 3 as you can see above, the number 5 represents many things. The key word for the number 5 is freedom. Now think of it as being you're free, let the bird go, it's free. Throw a, something into the air, it's free flying, it's just going out anywhere and everywhere. So the letter E represents freedom with all of the things that I have learned I'm quite happy to talk about. So collectively then, they will talk about this and that, what experiences that they've had here, what they did when they traveled there, what they learned when they did this. The letter E represents all a manner of things. Because it's a vowel and they come out soft, it's a gentle letter. It has a softness to it and therefore a softness in the person's name. Now with Eric, if we add that up, 5 and 9 is 14, 23, 26. 2 plus 6 equals 8. Very interesting with the softness and the variety of skills that Eric has, they are very strong, very determined people who can do and tackle just about anything. They're very, very smart. The word brain and the word think when you add those two words together, you can do that using the alphabet above here, brain and think. They also sum to the number eight. So therefore, Eric's are very smart people and the eight represents authority or strength. So these people are thinkers. And at the same time, they think they're strong and they can literally achieve anything given the challenge. Give it to Eric, he will think it through, He's got the brains, he's got the smarts, and he'll get on with it. And quite true when you're looking at the letter C at the end, and the letter C is like the crescent moon. It shines its light ahead. So Eric says, I've got lots of experience behind me. I've learned it the hard way because I'm strong about things. But whatever I've learned, I'm quite happy to show other people where things are going from the knowledge that I have through my intelligence my capacity to think. Alan is another uh, name starting with E and it's got variety at the front because the E is everything and all the stuff that they've learned as well in there that they'll talk about. We'll put those ones up there. Five and the L is the number three, three, five and five. Let's add that up. Five, ten, fifteen and six is twenty-one. I'll say six just by adding those together. That's so three. So again, 5, 10, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21. So you can add up different ways. And something I've learned over time, uh, when I'm looking at a name, I can add it up 
pretty fast without doing all the numbers underneath it. But that's 40 plus years of experience. So the number three then represents not like the eight, it's almost an opposite. Number three is, is to express. Talk, laugh, invent, create, paint, draw, write, sport, music. It's just an active name. So when you've got Alan, what you've got then is a person who's active and scattered with everything at the front. Altogether, the 21, which says two is detail and making sure that things are balanced and the one is self. I want to do it my way. So they have fun with all sorts of things, doing it their way, and they like to chat, create, make up stuff. So they're very much an entertainer or they're entertaining. So Alan then has learned a lot with the letter N at the back end of it here. It says, everything I've done up to date, I then take, spill it over to what I'm doing now and then learn more knowledge about it here so I can spill it over again to my next set of experiences. They literally are gathering knowledge of how to do things and all of these things they learn, they learn to use it like a person learns to use tools. Very good after a while of practice with it. They don't need to think about it anymore. They're very, very good at it. So she's very good at entertaining and having fun, making sure she's got the details right, doing it her way, and she will express it. So shortening down Eric is a bit difficult. Eric, <laughs> I don't think so. But you might get Ellie. Now, Ellie would be slightly different. Let's just put that up there for a bit of fun. E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Five, three, three, and five. 5, 10, 16. 16 is a number that helps a person learn lessons, especially when they're younger. Younger, up to 25, 30, maybe, 35. They learn lessons the hard way because they have a passion about things. So be careful when you have a name shortened from Alan. I mean, uh, Al McPherson, I think. Ellie, I'm not sure how she spelt that. But when you're looking at it, by having a name that's been shortened or given to a person, then they learn things the way that the letters dictate how they will learn. There's absolute reason behind this. It's built into our DNA from times immemorial behind us. We've built up this knowledge and it's inert inside people's heads. So having a look at the name Eric and the name Alan, if you know anyone called Eric or Alan, share this. Let them see it. So thanks for watching. Now click the like button and even subscribe. And as Peter says, everything is in your name. Hi, Peter here again. If you liked what you saw, I have a full personality profiling service, but not just from your first name, from your whole name and your date of birth. The report covers your hidden skills and talents, what motivates you, how others see you, and much, much more even an in-depth forecast. Follow the link in the description below for more direction. And again, thanks for watching.